Ah, football. That sport which has a random guy on every team that is shouting at the ref for no reason. But it also distracts us from the jobs that we have at the daily life. So we, it can unite us to hate the other team. But we all know how to play it and what it's about since the moment you could walk and talk. It's been passed down from generation to generation. It's not a surprise how much time people spend into the sport. As to some, almost, football is a religion as they live, breathe and die a football fan. But have you really noticed how the sport affects other people? Even if you don't support a football team, just by the atmosphere of people near you in public or maybe your own home. Now, one of the first things I started with was a poll. With that, I asked some of my friends on, of course, to see how they felt about football, if they supported the team, and some other questions. As you can see, it doesn't really look like they enjoy it or are interested in, in it at all. There, there were a few, you can, as you can see, that it's not that it was one-sided and they didn't enjoy it. There was a few that said if they had to, like one, if they had to choose, they would choose that team. But overall, what this shows is that the people in courses like this, and overall, don't have a general interest in football the sport in general I also went out to record with a friend of mine to Merston football club went to see the club and the stadium unfortunately it wasn't open so I could not go into the club and get, get footage from inside the stadium but what you will be seeing now is the outside and the area that the stadium is set in it's just a normal park, just like any other, but there's a stadium here. What I find is that I know my friends come down here because they live in the area and they play football whenever they can with each other. Even if they want a college or year 11 doing GCSEs, they'll make time to come down and play football. Now I also want to see, see the entrance of the club, see if it, if it was a big grand one like any other Premier League team or if it was small. And as you can see it's down an alleyway and it's just one little door main entrance, it's not very anything to look at but you can see the sense of how it would feel if you went to a big game to a normal local game like this and the, the difference yes, it really shows now to elaborate on the club here's a brief history on Merston Football Club Merston Football Club is a football club based in Merston, Surrey, England the club was established in 1892 in 1897 they were founder members of the Red Hill and District League. In 1926-27 to 27, the club were Red Hill and District League champions and in 1929-30 to 30, they won the East Surrey Junior Cup. Most of them won back-to-back -back titles in 1934-35 to 35 and 35-36 to 36, and again in 1949-1950 to 1950 and 1950-51. To to After which they moved up to the Surrey Intermediate League going on to win the league at the first attempt. In 1965, the club moved up to Surrey Senior League. They were champions in 1971-1972, to but left the league in 1978 to join the London Spartan League, largely composed of clubs to the north of London. Their first season in the league saw them win its Challenge Cup and the Surrey Senior Charity Cup, before winning the East Surrey Charities Cup in 1979-1980. In 1984, Merston Brantford to the Surrey Centre Combined Counties League, to reduce their travelling. They were runners-up in 1987 to 1988 and 1989 to 1990. A season that also saw them win the Elite Cup. When the league gained a second division in 2003, Merston became members of the Premier Division. 
after winning the Premier Challenge Cup in 2004-2005 to the finishing, and finishing as runners-up in the Premier Division in 2005-2006 to and 2006-2007. Also winning the Premier League Challenge Cup and the Southern Combination Challenge Cup. The 2007-8 to season saw the club win the Premier Division title, the Premier Division Cup and the Surrey Senior Cup. Winning the combined counties league title resulted in Merston being promoted to Division 1 south of the Ismanian League. In 2014-15 they finished 4th in the division, qualifying for the promotion playoffs. After beating Faversham Town 5-4 on penalties in the semi-finals they defeated Folkestone Invicta 3-0 in the final to earn promotion to the Premier Division. In 2016-17 the club reached the first round of the FA Cup for the first time, losing 5-0 at home to Oxford United in front of a record crowd of 1,920. They finished the season by winning the Surrey Senior Cup for a second time. Now, lastly, I asked football fans on social media and while interviewing to get some responses on how they felt overall. Now, to most footballers and football fans it is a religion to most and to others it's a game to bring friends together and also nothing to many others but not supporting a team or currently supporting a team it always affects us maybe for the better or maybe the worse but that's what makes it such a great sport and as many others has survived generations and it's still going on. It has not lost their followers. Even into old age, you still support the team. As I said at the beginning, you live, die, breathe a football fan. And that's just what makes the overall effect it has. It's just like any game. It's there to distract people, to enjoy being with friends family just to have something different to take you off if you're going through bad times you know your friends will be there for you 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 could always enjoy yourself playing football there's so many things it can do it it's not all good there are things which make it worse there's always the over the top fans who act aggressive but at the end of the day they have such a love for the team that how they act, it's just to walk for that team. Now, it's even better that you can enjoy the game without thinking of religion, race, gender or even political differences. It's just something to enjoy from the normal day. Okay. Do you support a football team? Yes. What team is that and why do you support that team? Crystal Palace and I support that team because I've just supported it my whole life and my family got me into it. Okay. How do you feel about other teams? I feel just I don't know that I just don't like them okay. basically. Would you have strong feeling like you if say you saw someone at school or out in like the town centre let's say would you still dislike them and in a way even without getting to know them no because I don't really know their personality so I wouldn't hate them I wouldn't hate them just because they support a different team yeah but I would like like if I have to I would get to know them on more. the same topic how would you feel about do you have any friends who support a different team? Yes. How do you feel towards them? Normal. It's just like when it gets like the, their team, they're like just the team that they support, and then my team, Crystal Palace, when they play against them, it's like a funny hate kind okay. of thing. Okay. Well, do your feelings towards the other team when you're at the game differ? from how you feel when you're not at the game. 
Well, I just get into it, so I just go with everyone else. Like, they hate them, but like, as soon as like, they go up to someone, you would still be like, nice to them, even though, like, they support a different team. Okay, that's alright. What keeps you watching and supporting the team? The fans, when they like, to like, say the mute, they sing all the music and like... So the atmosphere? Them. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else besides the atmosphere you want to add? Why um, you... if they win, like, if they win, if they score a goal, and then like, you just have to like keep it going and make it like more. Oh, so you, the yeah, atmosphere like, trails on, yeah. so it continues. Okay, thank you for the questions. Do you support a football team? Yes. What team do you support, and why do you support your team? I support Crystal Palace. Because my husband supports Crystal Palace and I wasn't that interested in football until I married a massive football fan. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about other teams not, let's say, at the game in general, public, going around places? Well, if I know someone's team's done rubbish, I'll always go, meh. Um, but other than that, I don't really care. Okay. I think they're just as stupid as my husband. Do you prefer to watch or play football? I prefer to neither because I don't like watching it on TV. I don't mind watching it at the game. Okay. But I because you're there and you're in a crowd and you're part of it. But watching it on telly is boring. You're not in the crowd. You're just listening to some stupid old men talk about it. And playing it, I, I'll last about two minutes and I'll get bored. Okay. Now... Going off of that, do your feelings towards the opposing team when you're at the game grow stronger than they would when you're out in public? Yes, because we're part of a crowd and it's like crowd mentality to like jeer them, especially if they're losing. Yeah, okay. Last question, what keeps you watching and supporting the team? My blooming husband keeps me watching. Otherwise, I would have like blocked all of the Sky Sports channels and been quite a bit a month better off okay thank you you're welcome do you support a football team yes i do what team do you support and why do you support your team i support crystal palace because they're my local team and i've been supporting them for 40 years okay how do you feel about other teams i don't like other teams <laughs> good do you prefer to watch or play football i uh, watch football okay well, when you watch football, do your feelings towards the other team grow stronger than normal? Yes. Why Why is that, you? How because many? you want to beat them. So, for those 90 minutes, you don't like them. And, yeah, you want to just beat them and go home with that. Being happy. Okay. What keeps you watching and supporting the team? Um... The excitement, uh, going with your friends. Yeah. Do you support a football team? No, I do not support a football team personally. Why don't you support a football team? Um, because I don't feel the need to, plus it tends to cause arguments, I find. Um, I don't know about other people, but generally in my groups of friends, they tend to have arguments over whose team is better or doing better. Personally, I don't really care for any of that. I know. Do you play football or in a video game? I play football in real life, down here actually. Not in the club, obviously, but just down here on the grounds. Nice okay. and recreational now. Well, when you see people other than your friends who support a team, how do you feel towards them? Uh, I don't have any feelings towards them, just random people if I don't know them. Okay. Friendly to most people. Well, as you do play football you you would find it interesting that's why you keep playing mm -hmm. yeah i love the just the sense of teamwork when you have your friends and stuff you're working as a team and you're doing well it's a good feeling no yeah. would you ever support a football team um personally i've considered it but i just don't deem it worth worth, yeah. Yeah, worth my time personally. Okay. then why do you like what keeps you playing the sport Oh, like I said uh, um, earlier, it's just teamwork and it's just fun, fitness, stuff like that. Well, thank you. Also, before I end it off, 
thank you for watching this might not be the best but i do hope you liked it